What's going on guys, Runa44 back with you again for another Microsoft Flight Simulator X Steam Edition video. So we're taking a look in this, I call this my nostalgia series. <laughs> I just randomly started calling it that because I'm being nostalgic and I'm taking a look back through some of the missions that I flew a long time ago in Flight Simulator X. And I, I haven't touched these missions for a very long time. Now, if you watched the first video in the series, was Keys was the uh, Keys Kayakers mission, which was a mission that I was never able to complete back when. So, kind of a win on that one. Spoiler alert: was able to complete it this time. But this time, we're gonna get back to the basics. We're gonna do Midwest Fly-In, which is a be <laughs> it's a beginner level one. So I don't expect anything too hard in this. But I haven't flown a Piper Cub in forever, so let's go fly a Piper Cub, shall we? How hard could it be? Land at Eagle Creek Air Park. Takes 15 minutes. Should be short and sweet, right? Right? <laughs> Let's see here. Navigation. And just bobble. Nothing that I need to know there. Let's just wing it. I'm good at winging it. Sometimes. I'm good at winging it when I'm good at winging it. <laughs> All the rest of the times I'm bad at winging it. Look at that John Deere. John Deere tractor. Oh, I got flower bombs, huh? I'm glad you came to visit. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? The fly-in is just east of here, across the reservoir. Looks like we're all lined up for takeoff. Let's go flying. So, I guess I'm gonna... Hmm. I guess I should look up how to release flower bombs, huh? Because I don't remember how to do that. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be under the F section. God, I wish you could search these. I don't think there's a search button, is there? Nope. It's one thing I got spoiled with in P3D. Is being able to search through all these. Okay. We'll just put it on the trigger. That makes it easy enough. Zoom our view out a little bit here so we can see what the heck is going on. Alright, so that was five minutes of looking for a key binding. When you're ready, fly east to Eagle Creek Reservoir. The fly-in is just on the other side. Use the compass to check your heading. Get the tail up. Whoa. Get her in the ground effect here. Start her climb up over these trees. Nice easy climb. Definitely not into the trees. Look how the trim works in this plane. I don't think there's trim in this plane. At least not from inside. Well, maybe there is. Maybe there is. Yep, nose up, down. I don't know how realistic that is. I assume maybe that's realistic. power back a little bit. No need to run the go-kart engine at max tilt. Got plenty of fuel by the rod on our cowling there. The fly-in is just on the southeast side of this lake.
This will set up for an approach unless we are told otherwise. Hey, there's a bombing target in the middle of the lake. You can fly over it and drop some flower bombs. Hit it square and you'll get a reward. I'm down for a reward. Let's yank and bank this bitch, shall we? Okay, I want to see. How do I want to go about this approach? Let's get the door open here. What's the chances I hit this first time? Probably none. Slim to. Oh yeah, that ain't gonna do shit. The target. Ooh. Okay, now let me back in the cockpit before we freaking crash. <laughs> I actually cannot believe I hit that first try. It wasn't square on the bullseye, but I hit it nevertheless. Should I push my luck and try one more? Let's try one more. Let's see if we can when get a little ready, closer. Watch for traffic and bring us in for a landing. For an extra challenge, see if you can touch down on that spot landing area at the start of runway three. Ooh, you give me another challenge to do, huh? Spot landing challenge in a plane where I feel the most at home. Not really. <laughs> but it's slow. It's very slow. Oh, we're gonna be short on that one. You've missed the target. Oh, we got some traffic over there to the left somewhere. There he is. Let's make another pass. We're going to do it from inside of the cockpit this time. Two, one, drop. Ah, we're off. Off target. You've missed the target. I don't call it guessing for nothing. Alright, let's sling this thing around. We can go back out to the outside view and cheat again. Boom. You've missed the target. So it just falls right out, doesn't it? It doesn't like... It doesn't freaking like keep moving or keep carrying forward or anything. Alright, well we might as well jettison our last flower bomb. Don't do us no good returning to the ground with it. Extra weight, right? Gotta loosen up, or lighten up, <laughs> for that spot landing challenge. See if we can put this one. See if we can put this one on the bullseye. Whoop. Ah, yeah, no. You've missed the target. So I guess okay. So I was right over the target on that one. So maybe it does carry forward a little bit, but definitely not a lot. All right, well, I'll take one hit. Let's go land. Get the door closed. Spot landing challenge. Let's try it out. The birds off the left hand side. We'll avoid them. Careful. It's not a good idea to fly into a flock of birds. I didn't. I flew away from the birds. Birds are over there. <laughs> 
<laughs> Unless there's more birds that I'm not seeing. Spot landing, white area right there, I guess, huh? So what will it give me if I can come to a stop in the spot landing spot? If I can even do that. Because <laughs> there's, no there's no flaps in the J3, and I don't quite remember what the stall speed is. Maybe I should have tried doing a stall beforehand, huh? Try to do a quick one right here. 40-ish? Yeah, we're just kind of mushing. We're not really stalling. So once we sink under the 40 mark... Oh, we're, uh, we're way too high. Let's go around on that one. There's no way in hell we're making that. We need to be a lot lower. Let's try one more time. Really try to get down low, try to get slowed down. That's one thing I've noticed coming back to FSX from MSFS, or Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, is that there doesn't seem to be as much like air resistance in FSX now. It seems to be handled actually better in MSFS, which is surprising because I always thought it was the opposite, but I guess that it's just improved over time slowly enough that I really haven't noticed. Oh, I floated. You hit the spot landing area just right. You were a better pilot than I ever was. <laughs> I barely hit it. You're a fine pilot. I'm getting too old to fly myself, so I don't get much use out of this dear old cub unless someone else comes along. Thanks for bringing me here. You're welcome, Pops. All right, we'll call that. Mission accomplished. Bombardier trophy, spot landing trophy. I do believe that is everything you can ever get out of this mission. So we're going to end it here. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for joining in on this nostalgia series, video number two in the series. Hopefully you're enjoying this journey down nostalgia lane. And let me know down in the comments down below what your favorite mission was from Microsoft Flight Simulator X. And as always, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up down below side that, so that I actually know that you liked it. And then consider subscribing to the channel. Let's get up to a thousand subscribers. We finally hit the 500 subscriber mark. We're quite a bit over that now, actually. And we're on our road to 1,000. So let's go. Let's get there. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Rudder at 44, over and out.